What's going on my friends, DJ Lowstacks here. Welcome back or to the channel and welcome to another off season video. So I don't kick off my first event of the year until January 20th, which is about two weeks away from today. So uh, what I wanted to do is just, i am been out in the garage cleaning up, checking out some gear and uh, today I wanted to walk you through one of my favorite add-ons as a wedding DJ. And that's gonna be this right here. So this is a club cannon. This is the case that they come in. It's a nice plastic molded, very similar to like a Pelican type case. I'll flip the camera around here in a second and show you guys inside of it, or flip the case around actually and show you guys what, what all comes inside. Uh, super nice sturdy case. This is one of my favorite add-ons because it just adds a lot to just the, the total experience of the event. So when you open it up here, inside, you've got the gun itself. So this is a brand new one. I haven't used this one yet, but you got the gun itself here. You've got your hose down here in the bottom. Now it comes stock with an eight foot hose. I always upgrade to the 15 foot because um, you definitely, you, you want the extra length in my opinion. Uh, it also comes with some replacement O-rings here for the hose because you are working with CO2 so it does wreck those, those O-rings over time. And it comes with a wrench here to attach your hose to your CO2 tank. So what this right here is, this is a 20 pound, what's called a siphon tank. And this cover actually came from Club Cannon. But this cover just helps keep them a little prettier. And if you bump into it, it doesn't make the big dong noise and all that stuff. But these covers came from Club Cannon as well. It actually says Club Cannon right here on it is also. This is a siphon tank. Now what a siphon tank is, it's a little different than your traditional CO2 tank, because this actually has a tube that runs from the top of the, from the valve here, all the way down to the bottom of the tank. So it pulls that liquid CO2 up through the, uh, through that tube. If you were to use a regular CO2 tank, which you can, you have to flip it upside down in order for it to work because the, the liquid has to come out of the, out of the tank. So by using the siphon tubes, siphon tanks, you can leave them standing upright and it pulls, pulls right out. I'm gonna show you real quick how easy this is to set up. So I buy my tanks. You can do an exchange. Um, in my local area, there's no place that will do exchanges on the, the aluminum tanks and the siphon tanks are just really hard to come by. Um, I take it back, they, they will exchange aluminum, but they won't have the siphon tube in them. And I like to have the siphon tube, plus I just like to have my own tanks. I know where they've been, I trust them, that type of thing. They're not all beat and banged up and stuff like that. Um, Cause a lot, the other industries that use these, you know, hydroponics type stuff. So your <laughs> marijuana farms and things like that, they're using these tanks, bars, restaurants are using them. Um, to to run their uh, their bib their pop systems and things and you know here I am spraying it in the air but how this works so you have your wrench here you put your wrench on your wrench is gonna stay on the hose too by the way so you feed your rinse wrench on over the top of the hose like that and you're gonna come up here to the tank itself just get it started I usually just go kind of hand tight with my hand. Once you get it on there, get it snug, take your wrench, snug it up, drop your wrench back down. And then the other end here is gonna to connect to the bottom of the gun. So you, this is like similar to hooking up like a, an attachment to, it's like an air hose for an air compressor. It's got this cool little coupler so it's just a quick release coupler here. So you just pull down on that, stick your gun in, let go, it locks on. And then you turn the valve on for the tank, you'll hear it kind of hiss. Once it connects, it hisses. Now this tank's pretty much empty, so I don't think much is gonna come out of here. And then uh, there's a safety on the, on the uh, handle here, push that in. You spin this so it's not in the way. And you just pull the trigger. See, so when it gets low on liquid, it'll still shoot out gas, but nothing's coming out. It's just, just air, basically. Yeah, guys, so that's the, uh, 
the handheld club cannon. Now, the reason I bought a second one of these is so you could have the bride and groom both shooting them off at the same time. It just kind of adds to it, that way they don't have to share. Um, or I'm looking at doing a bigger package. So I actually bought the, uh, the micro jets as well. So I'm gonna do, I wanna do a package that has both guns and the micro jets. But the micro jets, let me just take this thing apart here. So I'll close your tank and just safety measure. What I do, I always close the tank and I pull the trigger until it does that. And you know that there's no more air in the line. Pop that loose. You come back over here to your tank. Pop that loose. You can loosen it by hand after that. The wrench is more so just to give you some better leverage. Once you get that off, wrap your hose back up nice and tight. Goes in the bottom of your case here. Spot for your wrench. Put your gun back in. Close her up. That's the club cannon. All right guys, before we move forward with this review, I wanted to let you all know that I do have a discount code for Club Cannon. It's super simple. The link's down in my description. Go down there, highlight it, hit copy. So copy it to your clipboard. Then you're gonna go to clubcannon.com. You're gonna click on shop. You're gonna go to the CO2 Cannon Mark II. You're gonna click on it. If you wanna upgrade the hose, you can click there to upgrade the hose. If you wanna add the case, you can add the case. I would recommend doing both of those. You're gonna hit add to cart, and it's super simple. Once it gets into the cart, you're gonna come up here, you're gonna copy it, you're gonna paste my link into the browser, hit enter. When it refreshes, you're gonna see that $25 discount code has been added, and uh, that's all you gotta do, guys. So, all right, so next, guys, I wanna show you the micro jets. So, this actually is just a, a case from Harbor Freight that I picked up but it happens to fit both of the micro jets and the big red button uh, all in there, no problem. So what you get when you buy this, so here's the big red button. So basically what this is, this is just a trigger, it's a DMX trigger to um, activate the micro jets. So you can put that in the booth with you. It's got this cool little key feature, turns it on and off. And you can also set the duration, so how, much, uh, how many seconds you have based on the size CO2 canister you're using. So you also get these power cables. These are the power cables. I've got a couple DMX cables added in here. It takes an 11 16th inch wrench to tighten, to loosen and tighten the jet itself. So what you do, you get them set up where how you want them. It also comes with these hoses. So these are the hoses that are gonna run from each jet to your CO2 tanks. You can use a 20 pound if you want. So the good rule of thumb is you're gonna get about one second per pound. So a 20 pound tank, you're gonna get you know, roughly 20, 25 seconds. 50 pound tank, roughly 50 to 60 seconds. So you get these adjusted to the angle that you want. Once you do that, you just snug it up with the wrench here. It's gonna lock it into position. So since I have two, what I would do, I would have one here, and I'd have one here on each side of my DJ booth. So one to the left side, one to the right side of the booth. And then all you have to do to connect them is you got your power cables, and you're gonna go, so there's DMX here. So there's, that's the power, power for the uh, button, and then your DMX for the button. So all you do is you go DMX out of the button into the first micro jet, and then you daisy chain it from this jet to the other jet, and it'll control both. Super simple, not bad at all. All you have to do is make sure that 
there's a little display on the back with your DMX address. So you want to make sure that they're on the same DMX address. And also I'll show you how to set the button really quick. So with the button, when it powers on, so this is going to be your switch that locks and unlocks it. And this is to set it. All you do, hit enter. So it's saying fill, meaning that it's empty. So we're going to go reset. Yes. 60 seconds. So if I had two 50 pound tanks, this would be set for 60 seconds in order to activate. So when it's blinking, that means it's ready to go. If it's like this, that means it's locked. So you can't do anything safe mode. So you can't accidentally activate the geysers, but if you turn the key on, it's going to flash. Boom. It's going to start counting down. You know how much time you have left. Some other cool stuff that you can do with the button. If you go in here into the settings, So you can go to LED, you can change the color of the LED. So red, green, blue, white, a whole bunch of different colors here. Gets into some rainbow colors, some color changing, a little nuclear action. This is the one that I like. I usually leave it on that one. You can do some fades, you can do a ring. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, guys, this is the Micro Jets. Um, price point is going to depend on your market. Um, I actually don't really have my prices completely set up for these yet. I uh, purchased these for my own personal wedding. Um, something that I'd always wanted. I wanted to get into. So I bought a set. So now I've got the, the two club cannons, the two micro jets, and I'm hoping to get them out uh, quite a bit this season. I, like I said, I, I, it depends on your area as far as the CO2 goes. I purchased all of my tanks and I found a company called Certisite. They are actually like a fire suppression type company, but they fill CO2. So it's really close to my house too. It's only like two miles away. So I go there, they fill my tanks for me. That way I get my own personal tanks. Uh, if you can find a spot in your area that has siphon tanks that you can swap, you can do that. I prefer the aluminum tanks because they're a heck of a lot lighter than the steel tanks. But you know, if you, it's up to you. If you want to lug those steel tanks around, you absolutely can, but I prefer the aluminum. If you're looking to buy a club cannon, I have a code I'll leave down in the description. What you got to do, add the club cannon to your shopping cart, then click my link. And what it's going to do is going to give you a $25 disc discount off of the club cannon. So again, what you have to do, go to clubcannon.com, go to their website, add the cannon to your shopping cart, then go and click my link. And what you'll do is it, when you click my link, it's going to take you back to that shopping cart. Your, your, the club cannon will already be in there and it'll discount it by $25. So, but all right, here we go. As always, guys, if you're new around here, please consider subscribing. Click that like button and click that notification bell so you can get notifications on my upcoming videos. Peace.